The former chief doctor for British Cycling and Team Sky has been found guilty of ordering a banned performance enhancing drug, knowing or believing it would be used to dope a rider. The charges against Richard Freeman date back to 2011, a year before the London Olympics. The British cycling team enjoyed huge success during his time as the sport's top medic. He admitted 18 out of 22 charges at a medical tribunal. Our sports editor Dan Rowan has more. For the past decade, British cycling's enjoyed unprecedented success, dominating on both the road and track. For much of that time, Richard Freeman was the sport's top doctor. But two years after his medical tribunal began, today came the verdict cycling had dreaded. The panel said he had ordered testosterone, the sport's doping drug of choice, his conduct incapable of innocent explanation. And it was clear that when Dr Freeman placed the order, he knew or believed it was to be administered to an athlete to improve their athletic performance. The big question is, who was the testosterone? Which rider was it ordered for? It's uh, seriously damaging. I'm not sure how pretty cycling and the sport can recover. Uh, the reputation of the sport in terms of management and governance is in tatters. The saga began in 2011 when Freeman ordered tester gel from a local supplier to the sports HQ. Six years later, having already left Team Sky, the medic resigned from British Cycling. In 2019, he admitted to 18 GMC charges, including initially lying to UK anti-doping. And last month, he was charged by the agency with two anti-doping rule violations. Freeman told the tribunal he ordered the drug to treat the erectile dysfunction of this man. Former British Cycling Technical Director Shane Sutton, who denied the claim. I just think it casts a shadow over, you know, great athletes. And, and you know, there's not many I'd stick my hand in the fire for, but, you know, all these guys I work with, you know, I maintain that, you know, well, that under Brailsford, we, we run the cleanest program in the world. And it just saddens me to think that this is now going to be an ongoing investigation. Back in 2018, Freeman told me he'd clear his name. I can clear everything up, but at the moment I am inv under investigation about my medicines management policy by the General Medical Council. And therefore I am not at liberty at the present time due to respect for them not to talk about it. But no wrongdoing? No wrongdoing. But today a man who for years worked closely with some of the biggest names in British sport, Tour de France winner Sir Bradley Wiggins and team boss Sir Dave Brailsford among them, was told his explanation was implausible. British Cycling said today's seismic verdict was extremely disturbing, but insisted that they'd reformed since the days when Freeman worked here. But this is the gravest blow to date to the reputation of one of the country's most successful and best funded Olympic sports. And it leaves a series of unanswered questions. Which rider was involved and who else knew? Today, Brailsford's Team Ineos, which replaced Team Sky two years ago, said it didn't believe any athlete ever used or sought to use the testosterone. But the sport's attempt to move on from this scandal just got harder. Dan Rowan, BBC News.